After a few days in Amsterdam, sadly, it's time to uh, start my journey home. I'm at Amsterdam Schiphol Airport and I'm about to jump on board Cathay Pacific flight through to Hong Kong. Now, this is going to be a very special one. It's on a brand new A350-1000. My first time ever on the, uh, the 1000 series, which is the longest, latest, biggest version of the uh, A350. This is the, this is the new one. And when I say new, this particular aircraft only left Toulouse, the factory for uh, Airbus, about uh, a week and a bit ago. It entered service with Cathay Pacific, this particular aircraft, just five days ago. So this is still going to have that new plane smell. Join me and uh, we'll do it together. Cathay uses the BA lounge at Schiphol. It's a nice enough lounge, but as BA is a short haul carrier out of here, it's relatively simple compared to your standard long haul lounge. That said, the coffee was good and the views of the airport were even better. Schiphol Airport is actually really good. It's one massive terminal, lots of shopping, lots of good food and uh, lots of things to see and do. However, it is massive, so uh, expect to be doing lots of walking and allow plenty of time to uh, get from A to B, or in this case, from uh, the BA lounge through to uh, gate G3 for my flight to Hong Kong. Cheers, this took a great flight. Sadly, I wasn't able to get a window seat for this flight. However, the A350 is fitted with a couple of external cameras, which gave me a really good view of our taxi and takeoff. Now is also a good time to remind you to consider subscribing to my channel if you're one of the many millions of people who have not yet done so. I can't promise it will change your life, but it will certainly put a smile on my face. The business class cabin on the Cathay Pacific A350-1000 is laid out in a 1-2-1 configuration. Every seat has direct aisle access and, as you guessed it, the best seats for couples are those in the middle. That said, these middle seats are still pretty private. By contrast, the economy class cabin is laid out in a 3-3-3 configuration and premium economy is laid out in a 2-4-2 configuration. The seats on this aircraft are consistent with the business class seats on the rest of the Cathay fleet, except these of course were brand new. This allows the airline to make little enhancements and adjustments like better quality lighting and electronics. Also, because the A350 is a wider aircraft, these seats offer a little bit more space. My connecting flight was on an 11 year old A330 to Adelaide and you can definitely tell that these A350 seats are a step up. The seat itself is very comfortable and easy to adjust. There are various storage spaces, including a large compartment next to you, which is perfect for laptops and amenities kits. The space next to the seat has a small cupboard which offers more storage space. It also contains your headphones and power and USB sockets. The back of the cupboard door also has a mirror so you can check to see your hair is still in place. It also features a convenient pouch to store your mobile phone. The tray table is easy to use and it provides a good work surface. The armrests are track so it's easy to get in and out of your seat while the tray table is in use. Next to the armrest is a small seat extension. This provides extra width when the seat is in bed mode. After takeoff, service started with a drink from the bar, which of course for me meant a gin and tonic with some mixed nuts. Whilst I enjoy this, I just want to give a shout out to Dashlane who are sponsoring this video. Yes, it's an advert, 
but without adverts we wouldn't know what to buy and sponsorship like this provides great support for the YouTubing community. Dashlane is a password manager and a digital identity app. I've been using it for a while now and I love it. It's made my life both easier and more secure. Rather than remembering dozens of passwords and which email addresses they are linked to, I now only need to remember one. Their autofill feature saves me heaps of time and the one-step checkout process means I no longer have to type out my credit card details when shopping online. It's brilliant. Their VPN connection is great for traveling when I'm using public Wi-Fi networks and it just got even better because now you can choose your VPN server location from 23 different countries. So you can access content globally that would otherwise be blocked. Dashlane is giving my viewers two months free when they sign up for a 12 month subscription. To get started, simply click on the link below and use the coupon code Dennis. Next, it was time for lunch with today's flight featuring Cathay's brand new meal service. I show the menus in full at the end of the video. Lunch started with an entree of drunken chicken, some garlic bread and a salad. For mains, I had stir fry prawns with broccoli and jasmine rice. Every element was cooked to perfection. To finish, I opted for cheese and fruit. I'd also like to give a shout out to the meal service on the flights out of Hong Kong. On these flights, Cathay is currently serving some Cantonese classics. On my flight to Adelaide, it was soupy rice, consisting of wok fried seafood in lobster broth with crispy and steamed rice. It was sensational. It's a massive thumbs up for Cathay's new in-flight meal service. These seats are perfectly designed for the business traveler wanting to work, and I spent the next couple of hours working on my videos. Cathay provides business class passengers with a well-stocked amenities kit, but sadly, no PJs or slippers. By now it was time to get some sleep. Using the one-touch controls, the seat easily converts into a fully flat bed. A good-sized pillow and luxury quilt then complete the picture. Time to try out the Cathay Pacific Lie Flat Bed and uh, have a little nap. Good night. The bed proved so comfortable that I slept for four hours straight. My morning tea was accompanied, at the suggestion of the crew, by some caramel popcorn, which went down a treat. This aircraft was fitted with the latest version of Cathay Pacific's in-flight entertainment system. It's a really good system, with lots of choices for your watching, listening and reading pleasure. It can be controlled using the remote, however I just used a touch screen, as this was very easy and responsive. This aircraft was also Wi-Fi enabled. 20 US dollars gets you unlimited use for the entire flight, with cheaper rates available for shorter flights. It worked well and allowed me to easily post some photos and track my flight on Flight Radar 24. It also allowed me to discover that I had just passed a thousand followers on Twitter. For breakfast, I went with the continental option and received this wonderful fruit platter together with some birch and muesli and pastries, which I enjoyed whilst catching up with the live morning news from the BBC. By now, the sun had risen, so I managed to get these shots out of the exit door window. The lack of window seat was killing me. Back in my seat, and it was straight onto the onboard cameras for an amazing view as we came into land in Hong Kong. As we come into land, let me reflect on the flight. I thought Cathay Pacific really delivered. The A350 is a big step up from their A330 product. The crew were excellent. They worked non-stop, were friendly and fully engaged. I thought the seat was really good, comfortable and designed with practicality in mind. The onboard catering was also top notch. I liked this new Cathay meal service and everything I tasted was delicious. So overall an excellent flight from an excellent airline. That was a really nice flight, really, uh, really good. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.
that was cool. And that is the newest aircraft I've ever flown. Five days old, while well, it's now six days uh, in service with Cathay. So I've landed in Hong Kong, a couple of hours here, and then it's on to Adelaide on an A330 with Cathay. Now, I did review that about this time last year, so check out my channel, you'll see that review. I'm uh, going to go find the lounge now. Look, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. If you haven't done so yet, please do check out my channel. There's a whole load of uh, more reviews on there and lots of cool ones on the way as well. In the meantime, as always, happy travels.